are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa Crazy because you're new here. I am going to see Pastor Nat. Woo! And this is my feet. Um, I just wanted to be as comfortable as possible. Although I feel like I should have worn a hoodie because it's cold. The weather keeps on changing, yeah? But so far so good. Praise God. Maybe we can sing for a minute. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Thank you so much, Macquarie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Our Bishop Odede, uh, together with the Bishop, thank you, Bishop, uh, Pastor Julian, and all the bishops and pastors here. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, the worshippers that are here. And thank you, everybody. You know, um, when Cynthia was talking, I was reminded. Um, some years back, I had a dream. I was out of the country. And I dreamt that at the official residence of the deputy president, we had not moved there then. I saw us meeting every Monday with the staff there. I saw men in uniform, the security people. I saw the staff. I saw us coming to worship the Lord. And I remember talking to my husband, the then deputy president, and I asked him if he could allow us to build an altar for the Lord at the official residence of the deputy president. And I remember in 2018, he laid the foundation of the altar, a prayer altar that we built there. And on 31st of July of 2019, Thank you for joining us. God is moving, God is moving. And I've also just seen um, our first daughter, Charlene. So you. We'll see what you're doing around the nation. Continue. That's your calling. And thank you so much. That's a prophetic word. Our next guest, Situmesana Amta Nyaibisha. Our next guest, we are moving now from Kenya, Nigeria, and heading now to Ghana. And every time when I'm thanking God for something, I always listen to her songs. She has a beautiful song where you can tell she really knows God and she's thanking God for something that she must have really prayed for. Her song, Thank You, is a powerful song and we're going to have the pleasure today of having her here and singing along and thanking God for this far that he has brought us. We are coming to an end of a year that people had predicted will not end like this for Kenya. But have a twist in God. So up next on stage, all the way from Ghana, our fourth artist tonight is Minister of God, Ohima Masi.
So on this particular session, Minister Boaz from Tanzania was ministering and man, this man carries the spirit of God until Nathaniel Bassi did a direct impartation on him. I have never felt the spirit move in such a way for a long time. Now I'm trying my best to limit copyrights because I ain't about to edit a video over and over again. So here me and my girl were dancing for the Lord. It is coming. As he comes up, I believe grace will transfer. Grace to go global is already here tonight. So we pray for everyone I came here to do. We pray, Father, in agreement with our mama and first lady, with the grace of this house, we declare the worship and the sound we've been waiting for is finally here. The new sound you told us about when we were on our knees that was coming. Lord, it's no longer coming. It is here. It's here from Tanzania. It's here, Lord, from Burundi and from Rwanda. It's here from Kenya. Lord, it's spreading all the way from Uganda. We are grateful that everything you told us to do, we are beginning to see the fruit of the time on our knees and the time on our faces coming to you for a new Kenya, a new Tanzania, a new Uganda, a new DRC. So on this particular session, Minister Boaz from Tanzania was ministering and man, this man carries the spirit of God until Nathaniel Bassi did a direct impartation on him. I have never felt the spirit move in such a way for a long time. The presence of Her Excellency, Mamarunto Karibusana. <laughs> and all protocols observed. <laughs> to acknowledge the presence of the bishops, apostles, pastors. My daddy is here, Reverend Gilangila. May the Lord bless you. Also, I would like to acknowledge the visitors from all over the world, from Tanzania, Ghana, Burundi, USA, UK, Australia, Canada, and all the other nations. Thank you so much for coming to Kenya. Karibuni sana. Wakenya po! Wakenya po! Ah, pana, 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 isai, isai, isai. Wakenya po! Wakenya po! Atuoni hapa katikati. Atuoni. May the Lord bless you. I'd also like to acknowledge our online followers on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you so much for supporting us. May the Lord bless you. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The woman I'm about to introduce.
place your worship in the atmosphere. Something has been broken in the atmosphere. Come here for this place. 
Hi guys, I'm going to make this as short as possible. So this is a summary of the praise atmosphere. And definitely, you all know I'm going to talk about Pastor Nat. As for Evelyn, I feel like I need to do another video separate because she's a deep woman. I'm so glad I came to, to know her 
from her own mouth, you know, to hear her story from her own mouth. This is very important that no matter what you hear about people outside there, always make sure you hear the thing, the story also from their own mouth and your perception will change completely. Evelyn Wanjiru is a blessed, amazing woman of God. And that is why God is blessing her bountifully. So for her, she deserves a special video. Definitely I'll shoot it in the night. Now, um, as for Pastor Nod, oh my God, it really looks like a baby. Actually, his skin is glowing. You all know I love skin. So, okay, he's glowing. He's glowing. And then he has that, you know, the chubby face, like not too chubby, but you could plump. That's the word. His skin goes also and tall with nice eyes. Oh my God, I am not lusting for my pastor. I am just appreciating God's creation. That shows that when you serve God, he gives you beautiful glory, you know? So, yeah, I couldn't put his performance or even any of the artist's performance because I was afraid of copyright. So those videos are just going to get stored um for me to be watching and, and enjoying i couldn't also post uh prophecies and declarations because i taught you people if it's special keep it private so for me i feel like this was my season for me to receive what i received and it was only best that it's only best that i keep it private you know until god manifestation happens and then god now allows me to talk about it well, I couldn't also touch Nathaniel Bassi or take a picture with him, which that was my goal, because he was definitely surrounded by by security and he was also tired. You could see he just came from experience Lagos. You know, I follow all those things and landed and then came, performed and now went back again because he has to go now meet a day boy. I'm like, yo, Haibo. But the concert was amazing and everything he said aligned with most of the things I've been saying here. But, you know, uh, when I speak, I don't know, you know now I'm an anointed, I'm an anointed woman, eh? address me with, with respect. Ah. <laughs> anyway. He he confirmed most of the things that I've been saying here that God has been using me to say, you know, and that was the most beautiful thing ever. I don't want to delve deep into that. So I thank God for favoring me this year, for bringing me forth two of my favorite artists in Africa. I'm so shocked that I was just soaking in Tim Godfrey's coming and then Pastor Nat comes and Daisy was like, you see how God loves you. He just brought you two of his, your favorites. He's like, take, baby, take. I'm like, eh, hey, oh, mo. Oh, mo. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. You know? So I am humbled. Wow, Mama Ruto was also an amazing... Uh, her, she's an amazing woman, sorry. Beautiful president's wife. Prayed for us. Deep prayers. Ah, gave us proper advice. That one I cannot say. Yeah. And then... There were so many pastors and all these people and people were speaking very profound things that I've said, I've saved those videos later on when manifestation happens, that's when I'll, that's when I'll post receipts, yeah? So, thank you so much for watching. This was an amazing concert, an amazing way to close the year for me. You all know Pastor Nathaniel has been my guy since... Uh, 2017 June when Hallelujah Challenge started. Well, before that, I loved his music. I used to just see him as a music minister. But when Hallelujah Challenge started in 2017, it got deeper. He became my guy. Now, for the past three and a half years, he's been my pastor. You can imagine. It got more deeper and personal. So I had to go. I had to go, definitely. So I'm humbled. I'm honored. I'm, I'm thankful. And yeah. Glory to God, and I, I cannot wait to, to see how God is going to use me because this is a beautiful season of of God. Like I told you this year, God has proven to me he loves me, and 
his vengeance is real and and I am his vessel because I've always been that. It's just that I I swayed a little bit, which we'll talk about that in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.